What's up, Yup Gang? It's your boy Taxon, and welcome back to Yup DBS City Things. And today we're going over another very exciting deck list, guys. This is going to be a deck that went undefeated at our locals this week. This is Red Pan. But before we get into it, guys, I do want to say if you guys want any custom mats and or sleeves, absolutely check out Pro Mats, guys. This is the best place to go get your custom card needs. And if you guys do decide to get a mat from them, make sure you guys use the promo code Yup to save on your entire order. With that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this list or my content in general, remember to hit all those buttons for me. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And with that being said, let's turn it around and dive in. Alrighty, you guys, and here we are with the undefeated player from our locals this week, piloting one of his favorite decks that I see him playing all the time, Pan. Go ahead and tell us about your deck today and your matchups. Uh, Pan performed excellently today. Uh, my matchups were a win against the new red Android 13, a win against the red cooler mill, and then round three, my final win was against the new eight Angel Blue Goku. So this is the new starter deck pan. Sa same as the set four. Uh, when you play a battle card, give it five. If it's 20k power or more, draw a card. And then I awaken at four or less, or three or more Z energy. Awaken side, give a Z battle card. Uh, 5k, that always comes up with uh, the best Z battle card. S is for Sun Goku. Uh, this the staple Z battle card in red decks, but even more powerful in Pan because you get his activate main uh, to have dual attack and another 5k. Uh, two Vegeta, he's good but never came up today. The one Videl, good for getting rid of like a blocker that didn't come up because if you would go into this, you'd probably go into these other five. And then one Vegeta to get my life down if I need more cards in hand. Starting out with the four of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, pay one, burst two, play him out when he attacks. Uh, you get to free combo a card from uh, drop. And then if he's in a battle, pay one. Restand him, draw a card, and he gains five. Next four cards is the Great Ape Sun Goku. Uh, if your opponent's at two or more energy, when you combo with them, you can play them from drop, which is great because uh, when you play him on your opponent's turn, he goes to 20 and you get to draw a card. Uh, three pan, United Emotions. Uh, if your leader's pan, she only costs one. When you play her, uh, pan will give her 5k, and when she attacks while she's at 20k power or more, uh, you look at the top five for a Saiyan or a Unison that costs three. I don't play any three cost Unison, so it's only searching either this great ape, this guy, or uh, like a super combo. Uh, the other four drop for Rushing Warrior Pan. Uh, when you play her, choose a, a red battle card or your leader gains five for the turn. And when you combo with her from the battle area, draw a card. Uh, boosting my battle cards by five is pretty good. And then also she helps by just trying to get uh, cards into my Z energy so I can awaken early. And then four super combo. Uh, three of the uh, Sun Gohan rare. Uh, he's pretty good if you're playing against like something that goes wide, minus 10, a bunch of stuff. Uh, his auto never came up uh, when I charged him. Uh, thanks. Uh, if your life's four or less, my leader's red, uh, pay one, play him out. I can minus a bunch of stuff offensively or defensively. And if it's defensively, I still get uh, give this 5k from the leader, and I get to draw a card. Two of the trio. Uh, this helps a lot because it gets rid of this guy. If I attack with him, uh, I don't have a way to get him off board because he has unique. 
So this, putting him underneath, uh, lets me play another one of this guy. Can you check and see if this is lined up? He hit the chair by accident. Okay. Rob, you also got one. This guy just passing out. Seven. John. Garbage. Uh, auto. Yes, let's go. Uh, when he swings, place the card uh, under him to the drop, minus the bell card by 30k. Oh, she's going to woo me with her wild. Two topo. Uh, good counter. Two pan. If I have cards in my combo area, I pay one to player and draw a card. Uh, then Pan gives her another five. You usually do this defensively because it's activate battle. Draw, pretty much draw two cards for paying one. And then end of the battle after this card's played, I minus something by ten. Two of the promo go ten. Uh, he's pretty much a one drop uh, double strike if I have three or more energy. Uh, when he's played, I draw a card, and I can pay one to minus something 20k, and he gains five. So him, with my leader, he's a 25, pretty much. 25 double strike for one energy. Uh, two of the bigger trio. He's good for uh, clearing boards. Also a good turn three, depending on what, what deck my opponent's playing. 30k triple attack can deal a lot. And then two Champa. I have a lot of one and two cost cards that have big powers. Might as well pay one to make them bigger. And then I'll do these last. Uh, my other final one of the one Yamcha, the one Kaioken. And then my Overrealms is the one Broly, and then the one Toa. This Toa is amazing because it can restand this guy. So pay two, bring him out. Uh, pay one, make him dual attack against five. The leader will give this uh, 5k twice. Same with the four drop eight, eight that you put under him. So you swing 40, re uh, minus something by 30, swing 40, minus something by 30, and then overwhelm Toa to restand this, swing 40 again, minus something by 30, and just combo this off 45. And then my secret rare uh, was the Radiant Sands. Uh, the double strike crit came up in round three. It didn't allow him to get his uh, counter attacks off. Uh, off his life, he was at three life. Went down to one. Also, if my opponent's going wide, I can just pay two bottom deck four cards. Uh, if I had Vegito over Realm or the uh, Vegeta, I'd probably play it over this, but this has been doing uh, a lot of work. Especially serving against an extra ten k, like that helped you push to yeah. kill me. Like you didn't even use the effect of it. Just the ten k was just like, zero cost. Super zero cost ten k. It's another super combo. Bring one. Uh, my unison for Gogeta. Uh, his plus two doesn't really come up in here because uh, my only one drop is Pan. I dropped the Goku that searches the top five. I also dropped Broly Crown. Uh, I've just been tapping, pretty much tapping out a lot, or keeping one or two up for a Topo or the Vegeta counterattack, or the King Vegeta counterattack. Yeah, and then my counters, uh, three testing and three King Vegeta. Uh, these put in pretty good work. Two spells is good. Uh, I forget what I played this against, but I was about to say I watched her use that against the uh, red. Uh, red and red. Yeah. 
like, I got very, his very useful, especially being that you're a Saiyan leader and you can activate that card for free. As you can see, all six of your counters here are free counters, so you yeah. never actually invest energy into these cards, and the only time you're actually investing energy into a counter is more than likely going to be for Topo, which is essentially just going to stop a turn anyways. So like I said, being able to tap out every single turn and rely on free negates helps you be super, super aggressive. And Topo was really great in here because round three was against the uh, the, Go the new Goku Angel, and since he's low hand size all the time, uh, me dropping Topo ended his turn because he couldn't really afford to discard any cards, and then my crack back was uh, very powerful. Oh, I showed it. I, yeah, I showed it off after the leader. Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, round one. Android thirteen. Uh, he played both of the seven drops. I somehow survived. Uh, I was wondering this, uh, being that you're pan in a lot of your uh, battle cards, like especially that four cost triple card that you said that you use for, to rem remove cards with the uh, minus 30, yeah. it is only a 20k, so it is a 20, was but it rough getting uh, any type of removal on the 7 drops because uh, of its protection skills? So, yeah, the Android 13, all right, he pr his protection is against uh, 20k or less red sands, but my pan can just make them 25. So anything you play is like, even a 15k just essentially becomes a 20, yep. or a 20k, or like, like I was just, I was thinking about the triple, the triple team, tag team, four drop card that came out in set 19, that goes over the one, uh, any, any red sand or whatever, yeah. but it, it just gets boosted if you play it first off this, and now it's a 25k, and it effectively can affect the second yep. round, so, yep, so it looks like it, it probably didn't affect you too much since your leader can help boost up your card so much. Right. Uh, round two? Round two was against uh, Cooler Milk. Uh, I thought that matchup would be a lot harder because I'm so aggressive that he would mill me so much. But I was able to start the aggro so early that he just had to like out combo most of the time. And then uh, this guy coming out to burn him down to three. And then his attacks are so big that if he doesn't have a negate, he's probably taking the damage. Anyway, and that very, very rough. And I, and I didn't, and I'm, I was a cooler player. I'm gonna be straight up. I was a cooler player. I did not have a negate, and I did not have the best minusing abilities, so I couldn't get him low enough to, for the attacks to be use, useless. So I had to like, and I had all four sensor beans in hand and used them all. Like while paying for one plus ten Ks to combo out and just it, it was yeah. rough. It was so rough. Your leader went to base thirty five and I still swung it. Yeah, it was very I still lost that turn. <laughs> It was very, very So what was round three? Uh, round three was against Goku Angel. Uh, he, the four drop, uh, Goku and Pycon, did a lot of work because he bottom decked when he he's dual tech. When he attacks, he bottom decks a card each swing. And he bottom decked the four drop great eight every time. So even when I played this against him, I couldn't put the ape under him. But uh, this still dealt so much. He's still swinging 40. Or not for you. Be 35. 30, 35 you just lose the minus effect in the in the 5k. Yeah. So I'd swing 30. I then played swung with my leader. Uh, he's at uh, four life. So play this. He goes to three. Swing. He negates this. Swing with lead. I combo with my secret rare and two more cards. Uh, he out combos. I play the secret rare. The 40 double crit does it. He goes down to one. Well, I, and, like, and like you said, I'm pretty sure you said that you critted a negate out of his yeah, life I, too I, with the double trick crit, so that like, yep. just took away his defense. And then I overwhelm Toa, restand this guy, swing 35, and then 40 and another card in my hand for the last uh, attack. Absolutely. Very, very powerful play. And, it, and it, that game is definitely on stream too, so we'll be able to actually enjoy seeing that play come to fruition. So that's pretty exciting. Do you have any final shout outs after we got to see your pretty spicy panelists? Uh, shout out to our card shop, Jesters. Uh, shout out to the Yup Gang. Yup Gang! And then shout out to my sponsor, the Who's Right Podcast. Alrighty, so with that being said guys, that was his deck profile. If you guys enjoyed this list or my content in general, remember to always hit all those buttons for me. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And with that being said, we will see you guys next time.